Good day. This is a, a quick hit video on controlling um, materials in viewports. And the idea here is as you're creating additional layout viewports, you can control what's visible in those viewports through the layer tools and making layers visible in one viewport and invisible in another viewport. So first off, we need to create a new viewport. And so under the Layout tab, under Layout Viewports, you hit the little arrow here, and it brings up the viewport window to create a new viewport. We'll create a new single viewport, and choose OK. And we'll just create a window here. So what happens is it scales the drawing to fit that viewport. But realistically, each viewport will have a separate scale. Here's the other thing. Click back on the Home tab. And you'll notice that when I created the viewport, it was in the viewport's uh, layer. However, let's say, for example, if I had created it in a different layer, if I need to move it to a different layer, just go ahead and grip it and choose a different layer. Let's say we'll put it in the title block layer in this case. But realistically, I created it in the correct layer in the viewport's layer. But if it wasn't in that layer, I could grip it, bring the layers drop down to control it. And that layers drop down comes to play a very large role here in just a couple of minutes in controlling the visibility of the object views in that viewport. Uh, it's called Viewport Layer Freeze and Viewport Layer Thaw uh, and new, new Viewport Layer Freeze and New Viewport Layer Thaw. Uh, it gets a little confusing there, but we'll just talk about Viewport Layer Freeze and Thaw when we get in there. So let's say, for example, I need to magnify this area here in the viewport because I want to show detail here. So what I'll do is I'll first double click in the viewport. Now why did I do that? Because if I double click in the viewport, I'm controlling just inside the viewport. But I'm also actually controlling what's in the model view. So if I make an edit here and change this or edit this, it's going to show up in all the viewports. So be aware that if you're physically going to change something in one viewport, like if I delete this text, it's going to delete it in all the viewports because realistically I'm working in the model. If I delete it in, under the model, it's also going to show up in the viewports. So we don't delete anything. What we can do is control visibility within those viewports. So we know that this particular object is on the text layer. And so if I want to control the text layer in the viewports, I'll bring up the layer properties because it's a little bit easier to see in, in the layer properties menu here. And a lot of times this layer properties menu is, let me shrink this, you get this in the layers property menu. You might get the plot, but realistically you get this in the layer properties menu. So you have a list of layers, but there's a whole bunch of other materials out here to the right hand side. So don't be afraid to drag it. You can also take and expand each one of these columns to see the name. Viewport layer transparency, viewport line weights, viewport line types, viewport colors, viewport layer freeze, descriptions, new viewport freeze, plot, and transparency in the general sense. So you can expand each one of these and you can make an extremely large view, uh, you know, dialogue window here, but realistically we're working with the viewport layer freeze. We can also control some of this through the colors too, if you wanted to make something a different color in one viewport rather than another. So those are also some of the uh, key features. But be aware that if I pick this, it's going to change it in all the viewports. Okay, so we talked about the text here, okay? Uh, in this text, I want to be able to freeze this text. Now, this text could be on its own unique layer, or it can be just part of the regular text layer. 
makes no difference for what we're doing. But in this viewport, in the small viewport, I want this text that I'm highlighting to be turned off. So to turn it off, I go to Viewport Freeze. I'm double-clicked in that viewport. It's really important to be inside the viewport when you do this. Click the viewport freeze for that layer. So that's the text layer and it's green in color. Notice that the text is now gone out of that layer. Notice that the text is still visible in the larger layer. So I just controlled the visibility inside this one viewport. Now the same thing can happen with this particular line. I don't necessarily want this line in here either. And it's called the layer slopes. Notice that I just highlight it and if I hold it there it'll tell me what layer it's on. I can also click on it and go to the properties option. So if I were to grip this right mouse click and go to the properties or quick properties it will tell me what layer it's on also. And it'll pop up a separate dialog window here and tell me what what layer it's actually on. So it's on the slopes layer. And so since it's on the slopes layer, I can turn that viewport layer off also. So let me hit the escape key to get out of grips. Scroll and find the slopes layer. There it is. And I can freeze that layer. Now I can also just change the color of that line. Let's say for example, instead of red, I want it to be blue. Okay. So now in this layer, this line, the slopes line, is blue, but in all the other viewport windows, it still remains red. So we can control, uh, you know, notice that the other line up top here also, which is part of that slopes layer, is blue. Okay, so everything that's on the slopes layer is blue. Notice that it also turns off all the text in here, because I turned off all the text Okay, so all the text is turned off. So if you only want one small piece to be turned off, I would suggest putting it on its own unique layer and then turning off or using the VP freeze to accomplish that. Now, if you create a new viewport, you can also say, all right, I want to freeze all the text in future viewports that I might create with this drawing. And that's what the new VP freeze, freeze does, is it freezes that. Um, the plot, this is another thing that students uh, get caught up with, is that they inadvertently hit this plot button and it's telling us that the slopes is not a plottable line. So if I were to print this out, the slopes, the roof slopes here, won't print. And students get all freaked out because it's not printing. Well, it's because the print or the plot option here is turned off. And so be aware that it can be the case that uh, the plot option can be turned off. By default, the def points layer is automatically turned off, and that's why it's grayed out. Because the definition points for dimensions, those are the little itty bitty dots at the end of an extension line, don't get plotted either. But you can't turn that on or off, it's automatically off all the time. So that should help on being able to control visibility of objects in viewports. So the first step is to create a viewport. Second step is to double click in the viewport. Third step is to either put objects on unique layers or control the visibility of those objects using that VP freeze in that viewport. So viewport freezing it. Have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.